Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time out to view my uh, podcast. Uh, Hello, everyone, to actually listen to my podcast. I've been MIA for a bit. I just wanted to take this month of August, uh, fall back a couple of weeks uh, just to get pull myself together. I admit I've been going through it, you know, um, but I'm trying to get back into the groove. Now, I will be doing uh, a love reading for Leo by podcast. This will be a podcast on my second channel. Um, and we're going, this is Leo season. So hello to my Leos out there and happy birthday to you. Sending blessings to you internationally and all over the world whoever is listening you know I thought I was a little bit techy um I thought but you know things move so quickly when it comes to technology and you know I'm just trying to get into a comfortable uh position so I can do um some lives um I wanted to I got a call in number now so I wanted to do some live readings and I wanted to do like a podcast so that you can call in and um ask your questions and I answer your questions or I pull a card for you whatever so that's what I'm trying to work on in the background so stay tuned for that so let me just start with you Leo and just let me just look at for this is going to be a timeless reading remember it's not uh, restricted by the physical time but it goes by uh, the universal time okay so whenever you click on this podcast whenever you listen make sure you follow as well um spirit is guiding you guiding you there's a message in it for you uh at least for some of you maybe not all but there's other videos on my channel there you can check out remember to like um this video remember to subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new to my channel i welcome you thank you so much for becoming a family member okay all right so let's just look at the energies that surround you now leo okay so we are pulling the sixth chakra and we're pulling Archangel Metatron. And with Archangel Metatron, let me just check that out. Archangel Metatron. Well, that's the, um, did I say, s- that's the six, the six chakra, right? And that's with, um, your third eye that's your intuition and understanding okay forgive me I'm just trying to get back into the groove of things okay and now we have the second chakra so a lot of chakras are coming out for you Leo we have Archangel Ariel and that angel is guiding you on your second chakra and Archangel Metatron is guiding you on your sixth chakra. Now with the second uh, chakra, we have the relationships and emotions, okay, with your second chakra. It's your sensitive, it's the sensuality, okay? So that area, the angels are healing, guiding, restoring, making stronger, working on that area just as well as your intuition and understanding okay sounds like spirit wants you to stay focused and also we have the goddess of the moon so that's your intuition as well being in tune this could be a pisces pisces energy could be around you as well okay so we got these three energies that are around you Leo. So I'm going to move into the reading uh, for you, Leo. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section just to let me know uh, whether you're following my podcast, whether you're following my video 
um, just to let me know what type of readings you would like for me to do, okay? We have Judgment coming out, and that's your first card that's coming out, the first card, Judgment. Something, some type of judgment may uh, be in effect or the need either you feel like you're being judged or you're being judged on a situation or someone else or another situation so you're moving out coming in your out your past is everything is fine with the ten of swords here i'm actually using the modern witch tarot deck by the way so with the the ten of swords on this card it has everything is fine so it feels like you've been through some pain. There might have been a situation that ended or you could be going through some mental worries as well. This is in your past though, but now you moved into your present. So you're in a place of judgment, but what's over judgment is the star card. So this is very hopeful with the star card uh, telling you that hope is on the way. Uh, you could be moving into a place of change and things are getting better. They're uh, doing the time in the past. You may have been going through challenges, but now things are getting better. Now you have justice coming as well. So something is not only going to be judged, but justice is going to take place as well. So judgment and justice. So Mm, sounds like you're going to get some type of justice. Okay. You're probably waiting for some, could be some court, uh, things in the court that you're waiting for, a pending situation that you could be waiting for that, that you want to go in your favor. And with the star card here, it says that it will go in your favor. Um, we have the seven of pentacles and I'm kind of feeling like some of you are expecting some money as well or some finances with the this may this court matter may have something to do with some finances as well that you're waiting for money to come into your hands as well. It seems like it's from a situation that's ended. You have the Seven of Swords uh, coming up in the future. So you got to be very careful that um, energies of manipulation, you got to be uh, alert because it looks like uh, there's energy of manipulation with the Seven of Swords, like someone is trying to be slick or get away with something. But you're coming in with your fire energy, Leo, as the Queen of Wands. And you're coming in very fiery, ready to move, ready for action, whether ready to protect what you have, okay? And you're looking out with the two of wands coming up in the future as well. And you're feeling you have high hopes. Being that the star energy came in and things have turned around, it looks like things are working out in your favor, Leo. And here we have the Ace of Cups, that Ace card, that Guest card. So it looks like whatever the situation is, and, you know, I don't see a lot of cups here, but only this ace of cups. So I see new beginnings in love for you. So if there was a relationship ending with that ten of swords, a possible disappointment or portrayal, and maybe you had to go through some stuff um, with court or in the relationship, maybe this is why your spirit guides are coming around you. Um, in regards to Archangel Metatron and Archangel Ariel uh, for your second chakra and your sixth chakra working on that intuitive ability and also you got the moon very intuitive energy that's around you it seems like spirit is guiding you on what to do um, in your situation how to um how to approach uh, a particular situation, okay? But it looks like it's going to be 
victorious for you with that ace of cups well this concludes the reading if this reading resonate with you remember to give the video a thumbs up also tell me how by leaving a comment in the comment section also share the video until next time god bless you